I did all these effects and transitions within seconds using these presets. What is up guys, Tyler Casey here, and today I'm gonna show you this new preset pack that I made in Adobe Premiere. There's about 65 presets in here to help level up your editing. It's for Adobe Premiere specific, so if you don't have Adobe, I'm sorry, this isn't gonna work for you. We do plan on dropping one for DaVinci Resolve soon, so we're pretty excited about that one, so stay tuned. Presets can definitely save you time when editing. I've actually had these presets for a really long time. I've used them over the years in all my music video edits. We've dropped hundreds of Cinepacks, but we have never dropped a Premiere Pro preset pack. So I wanted to go ahead and finish that up and drop it for you guys, and it's finally here. I'm gonna hop into Adobe Premiere. I'm gonna show you this pack, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use. So if you get our preset pack, this is all it's gonna come with. You get this one file in the folder, and you get a really in-depth tutorial. This tutorial is like 14, 15 minutes long. I go through every single effect and give some really cool tips and tricks along the way. To import this, simply just go over to your presets under effects right here, right click and go to import presets. Then navigate to the folder where you download it and double click and you're done. So now if we scroll down, I actually titled this one Cinepax preset effects. So it should show up at the top. We'll go ahead and open that up and here's what it comes with. So we have transitions, camera shakes, flickers and glow, and zoom ins. I'm gonna start with the transitions and the transitions can actually be used as effects as well. So I'll show you that a little bit later, but let's start off with how easy it is to use these transitions. So now if we scroll down, we have one Cinepax preset effects. It should pop up right there at the top since I titled it number one. Then if we open it up, we have transitions, camera shakes, flicker and glow, and zoom ins. We're gonna start with the transitions. I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to do a transition. So watch this. I have two clips right here with a simple cut and I'm gonna transition between them. Right on the cut, I'm gonna line my marker. I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna move with the arrow key left and I'm gonna make a cut. That's gonna be a total of five frames. One, two, three, four, five. If you hold shift, you move forward and backwards five frames. I'm gonna hold shift again and move forward five frames. I'm gonna make a cut. I'm gonna select these two, I'm gonna right click, then I'm gonna nest this sequence. Hit okay. And then simply, I just go ahead and drag one of these presets on. If I go ahead and play that, we have a simple zoom in very quickly. And you can see we have the, so this dragged on a levels and it dragged on a transform. So you're getting some flicker and you're getting a punch in. Let's go ahead and check out shake and flash. Let's go ahead and play that one. So this one comes up with a little motion hit and this works really well. This is a cool transition. And we can just simply drag these on and try everything out. So these are all presets. They have multiple effects on them and they have, they're some of my favorites that I made. But at the bottom, we also included other presets with single effects on them so you could stack them and do it yourself. So check this out. So we have blurs, so I can go ahead and drag on blur one. And blur one is just gonna be a simple blur. Then I can come down to color and I can drag chromatic three on. So if I play that, we get a combination of the blur and the chromatic abrasion. And let's say I also wanted to add a camera shake. Let me add transform number eight. So if we go to and play that, we get some transform camera shake in there. Let's do a different transform. Let's go ahead and do transform six. And then now we're zooming in. So possibilities are endless. We have flashes. So if we wanna add some more flickering into this as well, so now we have white flickering, you can really play around with these and create your own transitions and your own unique look. So as well from the 12 that we do include, we have endless possibilities that you can create. So we have frame rate. If you want like that slow laggy frame rate, you can easily grab that. Another tip is these will actually work with how long your cut is. So you can actually, let's say we wanted to make this cut a little bit longer. So let's say we want to go 10 frames on each side. So I hit shift twice. Let's say we want it a little bit quicker. We can totally do that. So that is a total of 20 frames right here. You can see how short that one is. Let's go ahead and let's make our own. Let's do, let's go ahead and grab transform number two. Let's go ahead and grab flash number six. And let's do RGB, why not? So we, go, so we go ahead and play this through and we have this RGB look and we have these flashes. So one way you can use this as effect is you can simply just make a, 
let's say when he does that little dance, we want to make do this effect. I would just make a cut where I want this to happen. And it can be as long or as short as you want. I, the minimum is around 10 frames, but you can play around with that. So let me go ahead and I'm going to add RGB hit right here. And let me go ahead and just render that out. So you can see these aren't just transitions. You can use these in music videos just like this to affect your scene. I can also come right here. I can create an adjustment layer and I could drag that up over my clip and I could literally add an adjustment layer. Let me render it out. So you can also add these to adjustment layers as well. It definitely, the effect looks better when you're around that 10 frame mark. So the next cool thing in this pack is the camera shakes. And the camera shakes do not conform to the size. It's 30 seconds, so you have 30 seconds to use these camera shakes. Let me actually go ahead and I'm just gonna turn this into a screenshot real quick. So this is just a screenshot, like a tripod shot basically. And these are super helpful, especially if you don't have Sapphire Shake, if you don't have any shake plugins, these are something to kind of get you started. So we have the light, which is this. So we have light and it's just a nice subtle little light shake. And then we also have with motion blur. So the motion blur gives it a little bit of sauce. So one of my favorite, one, like, so we have heavy, medium, and light. So here's medium. These look really cool on tripod shots or moving shots like this steady cam shot right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the medium with blur on this shot and there we go. And of course we can still use our, our adjustment layers and we can do cool effects. So let's say right here we wanted to add a quick little flash. Let's do about 10 frames. So come here, there's five. That's about 15. Let's go ahead and add a flash right there. And we can even throw in some chromatic right there. You can definitely combine the camera shakes with the transitions as well. So not only camera shakes, but we also do have some flicker and some glow. So the so we just have flickers right here. So if you want a constant flicker, these go for 30 seconds as well. It will continuously flicker. Here's a more mild clip so we can kind of see that. So here's the flicker. We have th four different intensities and we have glow as well. So these are some glows to just simply add a nice glow to your scene. And then we also have these presets that include both. So this is basic flicker and glow. And you're gonna get a little bit of glow. You can see it right here. There's not too many lights in this scene. So, so if I were to drag that onto this scene, you'll definitely see the difference in the TV. You'll see the VR glow adds a nice glow to his pants. It really depends on the brightness. If you're not seeing it, you can d totally go in here and play around with the threshold and the brightness. Um, like let's say we want it a little bit brighter. You totally can. We just have it at like a basic preset or we can even drag on the brighter version here. So we also have a version with color right here and you can just, and you can actually change the color if you just drop down the VR glow and change the color to whatever you want. Let's say we wanted a red and boom, we have a red hint to that. We have a few more presets right here, Blizzard and Flashbang. This one's really bright and intense, but has a really cool look. And this one also goes for about 30 seconds. Lastly, we have some zoom ins and these are just really helpful. They have motion blurs, so they're just good for those quick punch ins. So here's the basic zoom in right here. So we'll play that and we just get a simple punch in. Then we have a quicker version right here and then these ones go to a specific place of the frame. So if we wanna go to the left, it's gonna zoom into the left. If you wanna change the direction or if it's not lining up exactly where you need it, just go in here and then move to the second keyframe right here. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're just gonna line it up exactly where you wanna move in. We have everything else set for you, so just go ahead and play that and you get a smooth zoom into your subject. And this also does work with a, like, so let's say this is a tripod shot. We want a little bit of motion. We'll kind of camera shape. We'll go light blur and we'll play that. And we get a little bit of shake right there. So that's pretty much it with the presets. These will definitely help speed up your editing process. We price them pretty cheap to be competitive. So check them out. If not, I'm also making a video on how to make your own presets. So go check that out. That should be out already as well. I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepacks. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Peace.